it can get different sizes of shadows from the same object. The size of a shadow varies depending on the distance between the object and the source of light. The size of a shadow also varies depending on the distance between the object and the screen. When the distance between the object and the source of light decreases, the size of the shadow increases. When the distance between the object and the screen decreases, the size of the shadow decreases. Let's play a fun trick. You will need a small toy, a torch, a piece of manila card, and a pair of scissors. Cut the manila card into a circle. It must be bigger than the toy. Then, make a hole in the middle of the circle. Make sure the hole is smaller than your toy. Stick your toy onto the wall. Shine the torch onto the toy. Then, place the manila card in between the torch and the toy. You will see the shadow of the manila card on the toy. Now, here's the fun part. Find a way to make the toy appear in the hole of the manila card. Have fun! What must we decide when designing a fair test? Key in your answers in the given spaces. Then click Done. Try again. Oops. In a fair test, we must decide what to change, what to keep the same, and what to observe. Nandini wants to find out what causes the size of a shadow to change. What does she need to keep the same? What does she need to change? What does she need to observe? Write the answers in your exercise book. Look at this diagram. How can we make the shadow on the screen become smaller? Click on the correct answer. Fantastic! To make the shadow on the screen smaller, we can move the object closer to the screen or move the object further from the source of light. The shadow of an object may increase or decrease in size depending on the distance between the object and the source of light and the distance between the object and the screen. Fill in the blanks with the correct answers. Key in your answers in the spaces provided. Then click Done. <laughs> Try 
try again. Oops. The size of the shadow decreases when the distance between the object and the source of light increases. The size of the shadow increases when the distance between the object and the screen increases. These are the different sizes of shadows from a pentagon. These diagrams show the positions of the pentagon when its shadows are formed on the screen. Match the shadows to the correct diagrams. Click on the shadow. Then click on the correct diagram. Click done when you have finished. Try again. Good job. Look at this diagram. What do you need to do to get a longer shadow? What will happen to the size of the shadow if the pencil is moved closer to the screen? Write the answers in your exercise book. The size of a shadow changes because of certain things. We can design a fair test to find out what causes the size of a shadow to change. We need to decide what to keep the same, what to change, and what to observe. We keep the object the same. We also keep the distance between the source of light and the screen the same. We change the distance between the object and the source of light. We can also change the distance between the object and the screen. Then, we observe the changes in size of the shadow on the screen. In the FAIR test, we use a translucent or an opaque object, a source of light, and a screen. The object is placed in between the source of light and the screen. The shadow of the object is formed on the screen. From the test, we will find that when the distance between an object and the source of light decreases, the size of the shadow increases. When the distance between an object and the screen decreases, the size of the shadow decreases. Have you seen this show before? Do you know what this show is called? This show is called a shadow play or wayang kulit. A shadow play is a traditional way of storytelling and entertainment. It is educational and has moral values. It usually shows a battle between good and evil. Good always wins over evil. A shadow play uses puppets that are made from opaque materials. The puppets are placed in between the light and a white cloth. This will create shadows on the white cloth. During the play, 
the puppets will be moved closer and further from the light. This will allow the moving shadows to get smaller or bigger. Click on the picture to watch the video of a shadow play. Observe the shadows when the puppets are moved closer and further from the light. Thank <laughs> you.